Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today we're going to be doing a whip and chat. Now I've noticed that there are quite a few more of you this week than there were last week so hi and welcome. What I like to do on this particular type of video, a whip and chat, whip stands for work in progress, W-I-P, whip. Um, I like to focus on something that I'm working on currently and at the moment I'm working on a mystery diamond painting which I have been using for the hashtag DP Advent 2019. This is a kind of community run event on Instagram where we are showing off or cutting up our diamond paintings and then doing one section every day up until Christmas. Um, I've fallen behind as usual, but um, this is where I am at at the moment. Now, really quick before we start diamond painting, there's a few little things that I want to get out of the way. Um, yesterday I posted up some pictures of the organization that I did in my house uh, or my craft room. I spent a few hours in here and I was just trying to declutter everything and make homes for everything, which I thought I had done, but it was just messy. So I rearranged everything and one of the top asked questions was, how do you keep your diamond paintings from slipping off the trouser hangers? The trouser hangers that I have are these, they came from a store called Pennies here in Ireland or Primark in the UK. They're lined with felt and it's a long bar. This gives it more gripping power, but I would highly recommend that if your trouser hangers don't have felt, maybe use an anti-slip mat, uh, one of those plastic mats that you use in your kitchen drawers, and that might actually be better than the felt. Sometimes the felt comes off too. The heavier the painting is, like the bigger it is, the heavier it is, the harder it is for these to grip onto it. It makes sense. But that's for all the people who are wondering how I hang up my diamond paintings. That's how I do it. These are not inexpensive. I think they're $5 or 5 euros, so maybe $6 for a pack of five. But they are really, really handy. It's how I store the works in progress that I have. So paintings that already have drills on them, they get hung up. Okay, I'll move that out of the way. <laughs> I hope that answers any future questions. And I took a sip of coffee. Okay, so this painting is a mystery to me. I think I have an idea of what it is though. Um, this came from Lizzie Vapes here on YouTube and uh, she ordered it from the Pink Raspberry, which is a diamond painting store that is in Canada, uh, Strathroy, Ontario. So if you live up there, check them out because they, they're an in-shop place, you know, they, they actually work out of a, a brick and mortar building. You can order from them. They have a Facebook page, which I have linked in the description of this video. If you're ever wondering how to get to the links in the description, please just click the little arrow button beside the title of the video. And, or if you're watching on a computer, it'll say read more and you need to open that up. So that's just a quick YouTube lesson. I'm sure most of you know how to do that, but I have been asked several times in the last few days, so I just want to make sure that everybody knows. Um, the pen that I'm using today is beautiful. This actually comes from a friend who is Sparkle and Shine Addict on Instagram, and she's Neverland family here on YouTube. Um, she sent this to me. I have no idea what shop it's from, but it is beautiful. It is pink and purple and gold with white as well. So loving it, really using it a lot in the last few days. So thank you very much. And then I'm using a tray from a Diamond Art Club kit because I like the clear trays and I like to switch it up every once in a while. Sometimes it's nice to go back and forth between working with a small tray and a large tray, you know, make it fun and interesting for yourself. That's what diamond painting is all about. It's just having fun and relaxing. Uh, a few other really important updates before I start updating you on my weekend and, and all that stuff. Um, the giveaway. So I am hosting a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I can't believe that I hit 5,000 subscribers and now it's over five and a half thousand. So that happened really fast. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, 
it does sound cliche if I say that I never expected to get to this stage. I worked really, really hard to get here, but I didn't, I still didn't expect it to happen so quickly. So thank you to all of you who enjoy watching and come back for more and decided to subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe to this channel, you will get updates about diamond painting and cross stitching and occasionally beaded cross stitching. Um, those are the crafts that I focus on the most. Those are the ones that I love the most. And so I'm going to be making more videos about them. Um, so the 5,000, I will come back to that in just a moment though. Uh, the 5,000 subscriber giveaway, if you weren't here for it or if you missed it, I'm not going to tell you which video it is in because I think that's unfair to the others who found the video. I announce it in a video, uh, which does not have, I will never put giveaway in the title of a video. I think that that's um, clickbait. So you will have to look for it, but I think it's pretty easy to find. And the question is really easy as well. So yeah. All I can say is go look for it. I'm not going to help you. Um, and my personal feeling is that if you if you have to ask, yeah, I don't know. Um, it just makes me feel a little bit awkward if someone asks me, you know, well, which video is it? That's, that's kind of cheating, you guys. <laughs> that's cheating. Go find it. If you want it, go find it. The prize is going to be a custom. Uh, from Royal Diamond Painting, which I've already I've already shown pictures of. It's a unicorn with diamonds and um, little hearts and things. It's very cutesy. It's very much my style. But the winner is going to be able to choose whether they want it in round or square because you know maybe maybe you like rounds or you know maybe you like squares. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's up to you. It's your choice. Um, I will order it as soon as the as soon as the winner gets in contact with me and lets me know what they'd rather. Um, there are also going to be other winners for this giveaway. So there's going to be the main prize winner and then the four other winners. So the main prize winner and the other four will also receive a custom made polymer clay pen from my friend Crashly over at Crafts with Crashly. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a gorgeous cherry blossom pen that she made by hand. So each one is unique. They have the same design, but each one is a little bit different than the next. So good luck to everyone. The winners will be drawn on the 21st of November. And I will make a video and pop that up on the channel uh, as soon as as soon as I do the drawing. I will I will stop comments or turn off commenting on the video when I go to draw the winners so that there's no confusion for future people watching that video. So thank you very much to uh, Crashly for working with me to design that pen. I think it's going to be amazing and I'm so happy <laughs> that that um, that I asked because if you don't ask sometimes you just don't receive or you don't get an answer and we can spend quite a lot of our time wondering what if what if what if and I need to take that lesson to heart as well. So that's all about the giveaway. Uh, the giveaway is open worldwide and the winners will be chosen very, very soon. I think today's the 19th, so we don't have much more time to go. Uh, what else was I going to talk about? Okay, the other hot button topics at the moment is COPPA and YouTube. Um, I honestly don't have any update as of yet on COPPA and YouTube. Uh, what I do know is that I'm going to continue to mark my videos as not intended for children because they aren't. They are intended for an adult audience. I do not talk about childish things. And even though the characters in my videos, you know, on the diamond paintings or in the cross stitching appear to be childish, it is not directed to a childish audience, a child, childish audience. Yeah, actually it is kind of, <laughs> um, to a, to a, adults who, who feel childish. That's me. Um, 
not too serious, you know what I mean? But definitely not intended for those who are under 13 years of old or even 18 years and under. I know I do have a few 16 year olds who watch my videos, but they seem quite mature. Um, but I would be very, very careful going forward. And um, I highly recommend if anyone hasn't done it so, al hasn't done so already, please go to the FTC website where they are taking comments for how they can change. Please leave a comment there. If you signed the petition, but you didn't leave a comment, please leave a comment. The comments are more valuable. Anybody can start a petition about anything, but these comments are what is actually going to change the ruling. So please, please, please check out the link. I will have it in the description of this video. The other topic of the day or of the week was the copyright um, strike on our friend Jessica from Tiny Worlds of Wonder. You may or may not know her channel. Her channel is awesome. I really enjoy it. I like her voice. I like the way she presents information. And I think that she's a wonderful person. Over the, over the weekend or last week at some stage, she said she received a copyright strike on her YouTube channel because um, either the artist or someone watching, um, I don't want to say ratted her out, but they found out and they told YouTube that the images that she had on her channel were copyrighted. Please check out her video because I don't want to speak for her, um, but it did kind of make a lot of us kind of go, oh yeah, that is actually really important and we need to do something about it. Now, I've talked about this in the past, and I will try to find and link the video in which I did, and I got a lot of flack for that video, so, <laughs> oh well, bringing it back up again. Um, there is a distinct gray area in the world of diamond painting, but the gray area is actually created by those who supply it. It's, it's not necessarily the consumer's fault, if they don't know. Excuse me, I need another sip. Let me grab another symbol. So let's say you are the intended audience of diamond painting. You are in your mid forties to early sixties or seventies. You're looking for a way to relax, uh, maybe to pass the time. And say, for example, a lot of my subscribers tell me, excuse me, Excuse my dog. She thinks that she is a guard dog. Well, she kind of is, but <laughs> if you saw her in real life, you would see what I mean. She's tiny. <laughs> She's tiny, but ferocious. So, um, copyright. All images are created by an artist or a computer, but there's always someone who is creating the artwork. That artwork is either copyrighted material or public domain. Now, there are, again, very gray areas here, but when an artist dies or when, not necessarily just when they die, but there is a, there is a, a period of time after which the artwork for a specific artist is public domain and it is no longer considered the inheritance of their family or uh, property for whatever company or how can I put it? The estate. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. The estate of a, of a deceased artist. For example, let's take Van Gogh for example, okay? Well, Van Gogh is a bad example because none of his art was really taken seriously until he died. But anyway, um, Van Gogh is a good example because if he had gone to great lengths to protect his artwork and make sure that it wasn't redistributed, which is much easier now because we have computers uh, and scanners and 
cameras and all of this, back back in his day that couldn't have happened. But let's imagine that he he did he died in 2010 or something, okay? Um, his estate can choose to copyright all materials belonging to him and then, you know, selling the rights to specific stores or galleries if he hadn't done it himself. Or it can go into the public domain. Now, in the case of Van Gogh, uh, he is a classic artist, considered a classic artist, and so, thus his artwork is public domain. So yes, you will find Starry Night all over, and all a lot of his work, all over everything. Tote bags, shopping bags, beach towels, you name it. His artwork can be reprinted on anything at this stage. Because his, his artwork is now Creative Commons, it is part of the public domain. However, let's take a well-known artist that... Uh, we have in, let's say, our diamond painting world, like Manny Manzano or JoJo's Arts. Neither of those artists have allowed the stores on AliExpress to resell their diamond paintings, period. They have not explicit, explicitly said to those stores, yes, you can distribute my painting or my artwork on your website. You can ask them. You can go and ask them. It's fine. I'll wait. <laughs> but I know this for a fact. Any AliExpress store that is selling their artwork on whatever it is, it doesn't have to be a diamond painting. It could be a blanket. It could be the beach towel. It could be anything at all. If their, if their artwork is on, excuse my husband. Excuse me. One moment. Sorry. He decided that uh, right now was a good time to scrape our driveway. <laughs> so I asked him not to. Um, anyway, um, I've seen it all over AliExpress. It's not just diamond paintings. It's, it's everything. And these artists who are creating these beautiful pieces of art to share with us are being ripped off. Their hard work is being redistributed without their consent and without them getting paid for it. Morally, this is wrong. It is wrong. But Chinese factories don't know or don't care. They are given a file of artwork and I don't have a trash drill thing, do I? Crud, okay, anyway. Um, they're, they're given like a big portfolio of images that have been found on the internet. They don't know. They don't care. Uh, some stores, if you, let's say just specifically for diamond painting, you go to a store and you say, excuse me, can you please stop selling this image? This is, this is licensed and owned, copyrighted to the artist, insert artist name here that store could come back to you and say, well, prove it. Give me your, give me your copyright information or whatever. And of course you as the consumer can do nothing. The best thing that you can do is to report. If you want, I'm not saying you have to, but I am saying that if we're looking at it morally, based on Western morality, uh, it is wrong to redistribute artwork that is licensed to an artist who is currently still living and not paying them for it. For instance, if I purchase a poster, I want to buy a poster for my living room. If I buy a Monet, which I have, I have a Monet and I have a Monet diamond painting, I can do that. That's fine. That There's, there's no problem with something like that because it's in the public domain. But if I buy or redistribute a diamond painting that has been ripped from, let's say, Hannah Lynn, that would be wrong. So how can we fix it? Well, the easiest way to fix that issue is to stop buying from AliExpress 
But most people don't want to do that. And why is that? It's an economic issue. It's, it's really a problem about money. Let's be honest. If you make a certain amount of money that you can use towards your hobbies, then you'll have no problem finding stores that are reputable enough that will pay the artist and you will feel good about it. However, if you live on the poverty line and you don't have that kind of money, you're going to be finding the cheapest alternative that you can and trying to forget that it's wrong. I'm saying that at this stage because now you know. If you're listening to this video, you know. You know that it's wrong. Now, I'm not going to be the diamond painting police, okay? I've always said that. I've said that last year when the issue came up. I'm going to say it again. I'm not the diamond painting police, but I feel that I have a moral obligation as well as an obligation to the terms and service of service for YouTube. I agreed that I would not share copyrighted material on my channel and I didn't realize that I had been inadvertently doing this without, without really even knowing. And I just want to extend my, I, that I'm sorry. And I'm also thankful to Jessica from Tiny Worlds of Wonder. She was made the example of. It easily could have been me. It, it could have been anyone who purchases a lot of AliExpress. I don't want to name any names because I'm, I'm not coming after anybody, okay? I'm not the diamond painting police. But what I am saying is that from now on, on my channel, I'm going to be more careful. I have taken her advice and I've done res reverse image searches on the images that I have in my stash, in my library. If that image is owned by someone who isn't in the public domain, then I'm afraid, or, or if I cannot find the artist and I have no idea, it could, it could just be a mock-up photo. Like, do you remember that blue geode? That's beautiful, blue and gold. Uh, I got it from Sophie Beauty Store. I have no idea who that's from. I looked everywhere. I can only think that it's public domain because I cannot find an artist a, 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 the, the, the. <laughs> I'm tripping over my words now. I can't find an artist associated with the image. It goes with a lot of things. But for those artists who I do have ripped images from, I won't show them on my channel anymore. No more. I'm sorry. I am really sorry. And to those artists who maybe, maybe they do watch my videos, I doubt it, but um, I, I sincerely apologize if I have somehow crossed the line by making a video about it and I, and I won't do that again, period. All right, let me pick another symbol. I'm going to go for X, which is the only thing, the only thing that I can say right now is that I wish that this, I've got a, sorry, I've got a, a chart, an inventory sheet type legend on this side of the canvas, uh, as well as the bottom. And so it's the right side and the left side and the one on the right side, the key is much smaller and I wish it was bigger. So um, that's the only thing. <laughs> it's It would be much easier to read. All right. So I hope that clears up any questions about the copyright and what I intend to do. I just, I think it's wrong. I honestly, I'm going to talk about it in FlossTube as well, because my FlossTube Friday video, because I didn't realize this, but I purchased a small cross-stitch keychain kit on AliExpress and then found out that it it's, it's owned by a company called Soda Stitch. 
So I'm not going to put it on my channel. And I found Soda Stitch. They have lots of different stores all over the world on Etsy, like different stores carry their, their patterns and kits. So I'm going and buying the full set so that, you know, because deep down, I do feel bad that that designer didn't get paid and that they're being ripped on AliExpress. So yeah, I do feel, I do feel like I am obligated to share the right thing with everybody. Am I, am I the kind of person who would be a Bible thumper about it? No, because at the end of the day, it is your money and your decision. It's what you do with it, but I can't knowingly justify going to AliExpress and ripping someone's artwork and them not being paid for it. So what does that mean? What does it mean for diamond painting? What does it mean for my channel? It means that I won't be buying AliExpress anymore. I was kind of looking for a reason not to. To be honest with you, the quality varies so much that I could have unboxing videos until the time I'm 60 and still not be through all the stores that are on there. I don't like that it takes so long to ship. I don't like the condition that most of them come in. And while I have found really great stores, I know that those stores rip off of artists. Um, they don't, they might not. I want to give them the benefit of the doubt because there are stores, I mean, really great stores that I've purchased from over and over and over again and featured very prominently on this channel because I love the quality but I know that in their library, they have images from artists and those artists are not being paid. So from now on, I will be buying from reputable diamond painting stores, which get their artists and collaborate with them or work with them in such a way that the artist gets credit and gets at least a small commission, at least. They deserve it. They deserve it for the amount of popularity that they're going to get and everything else. So yeah, that is the way that it's going to go. What does that mean for my channel? It means that I won't be doing diamond painting unboxings very much anymore because there's only a handful of stores that I trust. But it also could mean that there is a huge opportunity for upcoming stores who want to do the right thing and they want to provide not just quality, but they want to make sure that artists are getting what they deserve. But yes, I plan in 2020, I will be backing away from diamond painting just a wee bit. I'm planning on only having two to three videos a week. And this is because your girl, Rachel Ray, is tired. I want to enjoy the crafts that I'm doing and not spend all of my waking hours making videos. Um, I'm not a rat race person, but somehow I got caught up in it. 561. Anybody that knows me personally knows that I'm a huge introvert. <laughs> huge introvert. And doing the channel has forced me to try to be extroverted and try to be more sociable and all these things. Um, and I have no problem with that at all. But what I do have a problem with is having to, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, and this is not your fault, but because I'm juggling my own problems uh, and trying to overcome my own battles, I have to make way in some aspect of my life. And right now, that has to be YouTube. YouTube is the new thing. And while I love YouTube, and I love the community aspect of it, this couldn't have happened at a better time for me, because my panic attacks have been happening more frequently over the silliest things. 
And you could ask my really good friends who I speak with here um, on YouTube daily who support me so much. I appreciate the support from all of you as well. Anybody watching and commenting, I really do. I love the interaction that we have. But there are days where I get scared and there are days where I think if I talk about this subject, how will it impact me and will people be mad at me? I've had to learn how to cope, how to change and deal with these kinds of things. And I think it has made me grow as a person, honestly. But I also think that from now on, YouTube is going to be my little getaway space where I share things, but I'm not going to be selling things anymore. Uh, I may still be influential, <laughs> quote unquote, um, which I think is kind of a weird thing, but um, sure, I guess I can be influential, but I want to do it the right way. I want to I want to find people to support especially these designers, which I've found through cross-stitching. And because you're here and you're watching the diamond painting, again, I'm sure that you're wondering how, how could I possibly um, still diamond paint and pay an artist? Let's, let's take Hannah Lynn, for example. You may or may not like Hannah Lynn. It's just an example. Insert your favorite living artist here, okay? Um, how can you support her art and diamond painting? Well, let's say, for example, you love her, but you don't see any of her designs on any of the websites where you can find legally licensed diamond paintings, but you still want to do a diamond painting of that image. The, the next best thing is to go on to heavenandearthdesigns.com. I'll link them. I'll link them. Heavenandearthdesigns.com is a cross-stitch chart website. That's where you can buy a cross-stitching chart of your favorite artist's work. Now, there are lots of ways to change the cross-stitching chart into a diamond painting, and Stitcherista has done a video on it. I know that for sure. There are other creators who have done videos on it. Uh, Four Kids at 147. I watch her and Crafty Lisa. I have, I have also watched her. Um, I want to try my own Heaven and Earth Designs diamond painting. Now, <laughs> it's going to take a lifetime to complete but at least I know that if I purchase the chart from that website, the artist gets a commission. They get paid for that artwork. I will not be sending the image to the company where I purchased the blank canvas from. And yes, it will be a blank canvas. So this is going to be a huge undertaking um, and very slow. But it is, it is the best way to, to do this. Another way would be to contact the artist. Contact your favorite artist and ask them, you know, how could I, how could I do this with your permission? Is it okay? Ask them, communicate with them, get involved. I'm sure that they would love to speak with you because artists are just like, you know, YouTubers in that respect. They want to hear feedback on their work. They want to know that they're doing an okay job. They want to know that people love them so much that they want their work as diamond painting or, you know, in their home or in their office or wherever. But if all that else, all else fails and you cannot find, you know, you can't, seem to to work it out or or get it in the way you want then why don't you just buy a print from them buy a print buy a poster uh i know that mandy manzano has her own kind of web shop website um and you can buy her designs 
in lots of things, <laughs> lots and lots of things. Do you know C Melody? I almost bought that in a duvet cover because I want it big. I want it big and I want all the details. Um, I love her artwork, but I, I felt that the diamond painting, even the diamond painting the Diamond Art Club had, and it's now on sale, by the way, um, it, it's just not big enough to get all those details that I want personally. So what would I do? I would go on and buy from her shop to support her as an artist. Not everything has to be a diamond painting. If you don't, you know, if you don't, if you feel that it's too difficult, then yeah, you know, it's, it is hard and doing the right thing is always going to be really hard. And I have to be an example. I want to be an example for everyone that you can do it. So next year, I may be working on a heaven and earth design. It's going to be slow going but that's the plan and all the paintings that i have that are legally licensed i'll be working on on my channel am i going to throw away what i have in my stash absolutely not that would be that would be very wasteful <laughs> excuse me uh it would be wasteful but I will not be featuring it on my YouTube channel or my Instagram or my Facebook. It'll be for me. And I'm okay with that because not everything has to be about YouTube. And, you know, that is, that is one thing I need in my life next year. I don't want to walk through the <laughs> the grocery store and try to find things that would be great on my channel. I'm sorry. I'm not that kind of YouTuber. I may have been trying to be or kidding myself and attempting to do that, but I can't continue in this way much longer. I'm going to burn out. And I know that my true fans are going to back me up and, you know, I can hear you already. So thank you so much for your constant support. I really do appreciate it. Next year, after Christmas, you are going to see me doing a lot more cross-stitching related things, but I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to minimize it to two or three videos a week. My diamond painting videos will look like floss tube videos. I'm going to share what my works in progress are, where I am with my, my whips, um, any finishes that I might have. I will make a dedicated video for because I love post review. Uh, if I am sent something to review and I like it, I will put it on my channel um, if I agree with it. And if if I don't, I don't. Simple as. Um, I'm taking a control of this YouTube channel uh, and I won't allow companies to control it for me. Uh, the other thing, where's number eight? I saw it a little while ago. Where are you, number eight? 413. Um, I'm doing that because I, I have a tendency to be a workaholic. And I also have the very big tendency to collect things. I don't know about you all, but... I'm a hobby collector, so when I first started diamond painting, I was very, very, very careful not to go out and buy all the things. But then, then I started my YouTube channel, and of course I didn't start it because I wanted all the things, but when I started, I realized that there were more and more images that I wanted. There were more experiences I wanted to have and they were opportunities for me to build a community so 
now I have, I have to draw a line in the sand for myself. I'm not expecting anyone else to do this either. Just like Jessica said in her video, which if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Please learn from her. <laughs> Understand why we're doing this. Um, she's deleted permanently all of her videos that featured artwork that was licensed but wasn't licensed to the store she bought it from. She's deleted it. She's got 20 something videos left. That's it. Out of the almost year of YouTube that she's been doing. So please go on over and support her too. She is fantastic. Again, I will link her down in the description. I'll link her video down in the description or up in the eye. It depends. I don't know. I don't like that eye feature. I don't know about you guys, but because when when I watch whip and chat videos, I'm just listening, not watching the screen. So that doesn't really make any difference for me watching. I don't know about you. So I will link everything in that description box. Okay, so that's the copyright and the COPPA stuff. The COPPA is the child online protection, privacy protection act. I think that's what it stands for. Um, anyway, that's enough about that. That's all the seriousness out of the way. And I'm sure this video is like, I don't know how long already. So I won't go on too much more. Um, I've just been doing a lot of thinking this weekend about, about things. And the, the copyright problem and her being copyright stricken and me worrying about it is recent. Me thinking about changing my channel has been for the last few weeks. I really enjoy floss tube videos. I like being in front of the camera. Uh, I feel like my videos where I'm talking to the camera, I feel more genuine. Well, as if I could be more genuine, but it's more personal and you can see my reactions to things. And I enjoy that. I enjoy that a lot more. I like making them and preparing for them. So yes, I would like to do that for diamond painting as well. Um, am I telling you how to run your channel? Nope. <laughs> Please don't take it that way. Um, I'm not, I'm not telling anyone what to do at all. Okay, it's coffee time. But just as, as a woman who has a full-time job elsewhere and treats YouTube as a full-time job in her home, it's time for me to give a little bit. I just need to make it a little more balanced for me. And that's all. And I'm sure that that kind of information isn't necessarily something that needs to be said to everyone, but I think it's only fair that I tell you that things will change. They're going to change. And it's going to be a drastic change, I won't lie. And it might take a few weeks for me to get in the groove of it. But that's just the way then it's going to be. Uh, I'm bored. I'm bored with YouTube. YouTube. Oh, no, I'm not. Excuse me. One moment. Luna does not like it when people park across the road at all. Um, and they typically do because it's, a, it's the first straight bit where you can pull over and make a phone call on the long windy roads of South Kerry in Ireland. So that is why she kind of goes nutso. Oh wait, hold on. Okay. Yeah. And then they turned around. <laughs> so, okay. Um, yeah, I think that you have a right to know because I also watched, and I don't know if you know her, but Karen, Karen at Diamond Painting with Anxiety. She's awesome. And she posted up a video a few days ago. I just watched it last night and I internalized it and realized that I too could follow in this way. Maybe I have taken on too much 
at once. Uh, and maybe it is a good idea for me to just kind of allow YouTube to be my little fun space where I can share all the cute little stuff and the neat tips and tricks that I learn along the way as a beginner for cross stitching and occasionally make videos pertaining to diamond painting. Excuse me if you can if you can hear the the dryer beeping. I apologize. But sometimes I'll have tips and tricks on YouTube on YouTube. Why do I keep saying that? On diamond painting. I am not a YouTube expert, far from it. But just know that I'm doing it not because of the reaction from from viewers or subscribers. I'm I'm doing it for my mental health. Um, and I just need I just need to enjoy some crafty time. I've spent the last year working my tail off. I'm gonna be honest about it here. I'm not trying to boost my ego or anything, but honestly, every day filming, editing, uploading. If you are not a creator, I cannot stress to you how much work it can be. And I know that you do appreciate it, and the people that I've talked to have been so gracious with me. But it's, it's for me, it's just becoming too much. I need to step back. So I apologize to anyone who is going to be hurt by my decision, but... I guarantee you that the videos will be just as good, if not better, because I'll be in a better mood and I'll get more progress done. I'll be able to spend more time with my husband, <laughs> which by the way, I have great news. So we were talking and I have been trying for years to get a couch. Okay. <laughs> that sounds silly, right? But years, I we have been renting this house for four years, and we still have the little love seat that came with the house, and two recliners, two lazy boys from like the 80s, okay? They're really ugly. If you've gone on my Instagram, then you've seen. They're, they're um, like a plaid, ugh, plaid brown tan gross. Okay. Just not me, not me. It looks like a man cave from the seventies in my living room. And, um, I'm sick of it. We have lived here long enough that I'm just like, you know what? I don't care if I have to leave it for someone else at this stage. I don't care. <laughs> I will happily leave the cat, the new couch here and let them have it. As long as I don't have to look at these recliners and this this dinky now the color of the couch is actually really nice but it's old and it's gross and I don't I don't want it in my house anymore it's just a it's a Luna fur collector so I I have been going online and looking at couches on Ikea they call it Ikea here isn't that weird Ikea it's like ick what Anyway, um, back me up, Irish watchers. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I've been trying to hound him to get this new couch for years without success. Maybe I'm going about it the right way. But 732. 732. Anyhow, I... I've been trying to butter him up this week because he's been having a rough week. I think I talked about it. Did I talk about it? I don't know if I talked about it. I think I, I think I might have mentioned it a little bit, but not really. I don't want to go into detail about him and because privacy. But I've been kind of buttering him up this week and, you know, trying to keep positive and, you know, be more involved and not be so slovenly, right? It's always good to yeah be be nice to your partner anyway you know we go through we go through state everybody goes through phases with their partners but um 
just changing the way that I, that I approach things and talk about things all around trying to be a better person. But <laughs> last night, this is so exciting. Last night I told him, you know, I've been saving up my money and I want to get the plexiglass for the door. So I'm going to order that soon, very, very soon. But remember how I said I wanted to get a couch? Yes, I know. I know. I don't want to get a couch. I said, I know. I know you don't want to get a couch, but I want to get this out of here. Okay. And he's like, okay. And I said, how about this? I thought about it long and hard. You like to sit here and you being my husband. I say, you like to sit here and play video games. I like to watch you play video games and spend time with you in the same room as you. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So how about this? I've been looking online and stalking Black Friday sales, okay? And I would like to, instead of get a couch, which would, could cost like 500 euros or something or more, how about I get a drafting table? A drafting table would fit in this area. It would help my posture and my back because I have slipping discs. I, I don't really talk about it. Um, it'll help it'll help me medically <laughs> get a stronger core and you know still be able to spend time with you in the same room as you doing my hobby, be able to chat with you and everything. But it's it's a fraction of the price of a couch. And I think both of us could use it. And as soon as I said that, he just lit up. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, you guys. I know that, okay, and I'm not diamond painting, sorry. Um, I know that my husband loves me. And I've never doubted that. But I think, I don't know, I don't know what changed. But somehow he was just like, yes, we should do that. I was, I for sure thought that he was going to say no, because, you know, men <laughs> saying no, it's like a default, but I was really surprised. So yeah, I'm going to get a drafting table for Christmas and I'm so excited. I can't, I can't explain to you how excited that makes me feel because you know that I've been working on this door for a long time. I like the door. I do. It's it's unique. It is, you know, it's it's nice. It it looks good. But it's not exactly the most functional piece of furniture I own. And I've learned to live with it, as you can tell. But it would be better for me to have somewhere where I could sit and be sitting up straight. Cause right now I'm carving my spine just sitting here. So, you know, and it's not something that I remind myself of all the time. I don't want to wear a brace. I probably should, but you know what I mean? And, and the fact that he said yes so quickly, I was just shocked. I was really shocked. So I'll still be getting the plexiglass table topper for this door that that's still happening. That is the, the support that I've been getting from my Patreon supporters and from viewers, those who super chat during the live streams and anybody watching who watches advertisements, all that YouTube money <laughs> and Patreon money is going towards the plexiglass, but he is going to buy me a drafting table for Christmas. I'm so excited. So yeah, we might have some, so included in those new upcoming videos where I will be doing, you know, floss tube, I'll be doing diamond tube. I'll bring back diamond tube. And I will also be doing uh, stitch with me's and whipping chats, whipping chats, just the same as before with diamond paintings. I'll still do them. Uh, but 
it's just I'll stop the unboxings. There will be very few unboxings on my channel from now on. So as long as you want to connect with me and, you know, listen to stories about what's going on in my life, um, I welcome you to stay. Uh, I'm sure that I can still create fun and engaging content for people who genuinely like crafting. I just don't want to put all that pressure on myself to have to film, 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 record, edit, record, edit every single day because I'd never intended it to become what it is. <laughs> and I do enjoy it, but I would need help. I really would to continue going in this way. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who does watch, who will stay, I'm sure that there are still people out there who are going to continue to do unboxing videos. So, you know, it's not as if it's going to go away forever. It just won't be on my channel. And I hope you can understand where I'm coming from. I am excited to start doing a heaven and earth design. I need to choose which one to do um, because... It needs to be something that I'm engaged in and that I want, but I'm not going to make that decision right now. I'm not. I'm not going to be like, okay, January 1st, I'm going to start working on my head. No. I have a lot of diamond paintings to get through first. I need to do something that I've been talking about, which is slash the stash. So I'll be using that hashtag on Instagram and Facebook, slash the stash, to, to help you see the posts where I'm actually busting through all the paintings that I purchased. Um, I think it's too easy to just keep collecting, collecting, collecting. And when I was cleaning my, my room yesterday, there was just, there's so many and, and they're not all in their boxes. You know, they're, they're actually, most of them are in portfolios, but you should have seen the amount of diamond art club that I have. I went ahead and I put all of the, drills, you know, all the diamonds back in the box with the canvas, which cleared up quite a bit of space in my diamond storage bins. But I have three of them and I have given some away. I'll probably continue to do giveaways. So those of you who are, you know, like, oh, do more giveaways. That'll get rid of your stuff. I will. <laughs> I will. I hear you. <laughs> but I want to let you guys know the best way to reach me is going to be Instagram. Facebook, for whatever reason, and I think it's just due to my own feelings about Facebook, because I don't like Facebook. I'm sorry. Um, I don't like the interface. It's clunky and not made for people like me. But anyway, I digress. I'm going to be using Instagram primarily for communication. I do have a Facebook page and I am, I don't know what you would call me. <laughs> I share a group with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee called Crafters Anonymous. I love our group. I do. It's a great place for people to share ideas and talk about things and fix problems and all that kind of stuff. And there are a lot of people on there who I don't, I don't know if they even know who we are, <laughs> which is funny to me, but not, not because I'm trying to be self-important here, but because our name is in the title of the group, but they just kind of find us by diamond painting. I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, we are a crafters group, so it's welcome for any craft. You can, you could do anything. You could do baking or, you know, whatever it might be. Which, by the way, I tried to find a picture of the cake that I made for my friend's birth, son, my friend's son's fourth birthday party, uh, but I can't find it. But if I do, I'll share it so that you all can see it. But you know, cake decorating, um, anything, anything at all, uh, please feel free to share it up on our group. We really like seeing pictures of the stuff that you're doing because it can inspire other people to do it too. So, um, I think, I think I've been talking enough. I think I've talked about everything that I wanted to. 
the seriousness of this video, I have to apologize for, but it had to be said. And there had to come a time, come a time when the, the train has to take a pit stop. You know what I mean? <laughs> I need to refuel. And um, Christmas and the new year is that time for me. I will be another serious thing. I will be unavailable around the Christmas period. I don't know how much I'll be posting in general. Um, because if you're new here, if you're new to my channel, you don't know this. My husband's father passed away on Christmas Eve last year. It was really, really difficult for all of us. And that means that this year we have to take special care to look after each other and thus will not be available. Um, there is something in the works, which I don't want to talk about yet because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about it yet. But there is something that is going to be on Christmas Day, uh, which I have agreed to be a part of and I still want to be a part of. But I just want to let you all know that around that time is when I'm going to start slowing down and this new schedule will come into play. So that's not very far away, guys. That's four, four weeks, five weeks. Um, it's crazy how quickly time is passing, you know? So I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winners very soon and I'm really, really excited to do so. Um, I don't know how I'm going to format it yet. Maybe I can make a premiere or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I will be announcing the winners and uh, doing my floss tube. I have live on Saturday night from 6 p.m. British Standard Time. I have changed the time of my live streams, guys. I should have told you last time. Um, but I've changed the time because 8 p.m. my time is just too late for me. I need to have my energy up and the stream, <laughs> the stream can either be really chill or it can be super energetic. And if it's energetic with, you know, everyone talking with each other, I don't want to be the one that's lacking <laughs> and, you know, feeling like I'm pulling down the, um, pulling down the chat. So I'm going to end this with our black ABs. I'm going to sprinkle them here at the top. And again, just want to say thank you to everybody who has been such a wonderful support in my life and who has taken the time to get to know me and cares about my, my family, my husband and me. And I'm just, I'm blown away by how many people are here and actually want to know, you know, what's happening with us. Uh, and like my dog, and you know, all that kind of stuff. All right, I'm going to put them back. Oh, wait, no, one more. This is the artistic part. I have no idea what part is black or what part, what the black is. So I just kind of sprinkle the ABs in. Because I thought about it, I was like, no, I don't want to go back and pick off all the 310, you know, because they get all sticky and I didn't want to put them back in the bag and I didn't want to waste them either. So anyway, um, we're just going to end with a 310. I'll never forget 47,684 310s that I put on Nightbringer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> the 310 struggle uh, with the, with Diamond Art Club's Nightbringer, uh, that was made by Jojo's Art. Uh, yeah, check that out. That painting is mostly 310 and it is stunning. I'm going to be framing it soon. So hopefully next week there will be a framing tutorial video. Get, get excited. Uh, it won't be my regular setup, so I apologize in advance <laughs> for whatever happens, but um, it will be fun to do and struggle with. So I will see you then as well. So thank you all so, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more 
content about crafting in the future. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.